Hey everybody and welcome back to Misfit Corner Scams. This is the Irish News Andrew speaking and it's time for another scam call. This is one of the final expense insurance scams where they call you up, they claim to be calling from some type of senior benefits or American benefits and they're calling to have a call back with you from one of their licensed individual and they're getting information from you first. It's all part of like a phishing scheme where they're getting information, personal information from you. So never give them anything valid, I never do. And I always take offense when they ask me what my favorite color is because I don't want them ever using that against me. Anyway, it's always fun. Did bring up Mary, did bring up my nurse Mary and uh, having her as my beneficiary. And uh, I think the guy kind of caught on early on that I was screwing with him because he started to get a little silly. But then again, we wasted his time, so mission accomplished. Hope you enjoyed the call. Catch you all next time. And remember, if you ever get a call like this, either hang up on him or screw with him like I do. Enjoy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, my name is Steve, and I'm with Senior Benefits. How are you doing today? Oh, very good. That's great, and God bless you with good health. Actually, the reason of my call is to provide you some information about final expenses insurance plan. That covers 100% of your general expenses. So a licensed person can call you back to provide you more information about it. So what is the best time to call you back in morning time, afternoons, or evening time, maybe? Oh, well, to be honest with you, any time is just fine. Okay, and how old are you? Is it determined the best time for you is your age? Uh, 62. 62, you're a perfect candidate for this one, so we have you constant to call you back anytime on the same number, which is like 9048. Yep, that's my number. Okay, and uh, can you tell me, like, are you single or married? Oh, I'm, I'm not currently married, so I'd be considered single, yeah. Okay, and what's your favorite color for the call that reference, like red, blue, green, purple? My favorite color? What, what does that have to do with anything? Yes, for the callback reference, like if for security purpose that you're talking to the right guy, and my license agent will call you back, he will give you the reference of my call by your favorite color. That's why I'm asking about your favorite color. Well, wouldn't he just say he called from your company? I mean, I don't understand. He'll tell you that, he'll tell you that he's calling you from our company, but he will give you the reference of my call by your favorite color. So that's why I'm asking about your favorite color. Uh, what about my name? Wouldn't that be important as well? I'll tell from your name as well. But it's just for the security purpose, like your favorite color. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like giving out my security color. That, the idea of giving somebody my security color means they might be able to break into my like bank. Okay, tell me what's your name. My name? It's Timothy. Yeah. Yeah, but tell me what's your real name. That's not your real name. It's not. It's what's on my birth certificate. Oh, really? So, uh, how do you pronounce your last name? What's your last name? Williams. Okay. Timothy Williams. Okay, and what's your mailing address? 611 East Adams Street, Jacksonville, Florida, 32202. 11 Street. Yeah. Florida. Jacksonville, Florida, yeah. And the zip code over there? 32202. Two. Okay. And can you tell me, like, do you smoke cigarettes out of it? Oh, no, 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 no. I've never done that. That's a nasty habit. What do you say? I said that's a nasty habit. I don't, I don't smoke. Oh, okay. And. Like the mailing address that you've given me is 611 East 11th Street. No, 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 no. It's Adam Street. Adam, A D A M. S. Adams okay. Street. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Street. I forgive you. Yeah, and can you tell? Can you tell me, like, as you've told me that you are. Can you tell me what your date of birth, which makes you 62? Uh, February 1st, 1960. Yeah. February 1st, 1960. Yep. I got you. And can 
you show me like uh, it would be your beneficiary if you like our fan and if you just take the coverage, like your son, your daughter, or any of the family member. Well, I, I'm not currently married, and I don't have any children, uh, but I have my I have an at home nurse that takes care of me. I, I would probably make her my beneficiary. Uh, your nurse. Yes, her name's Mary. I, uh, She's a very uh, wonderful yeah. person. Uh, she takes very uh, good care. She takes very good care of me. Uh, really? Yes. What's, what's her name? Mary. Oh, okay. And yeah. what's your name? What did it? Uh, like I forgot your name. You forgot my name already. Timothy yeah. William. What's your name? Timothy William. Yeah. I got you. What's your name? Timothy. My name is Steve. Steve. Oh, okay. Hi, Steve. Yeah, you also forgot my name, so I forgive it to you. So like, oh, it. you're right, I did. Yeah. I'm. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Forgot my name. Yeah. And on this coverage plan, would you like to see the information? Now, uh, like five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand. Do you have any rough idea right now? Well, what what do you what would you recommend, Steve? What do you think's the best best amount? If you're, like, you have to decide it. I'm not the one. Well, I know, but I'm yeah. I'm asking your professional opinion. What do, you, what do you think is the best? I'm not a licensed agent, so I can't give me a... Uh, okay. Okay, so, 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 just a, just one guy to another guy, not, not a guy to a licensed agent, just one guy to another guy, what amount do you think I should choose? One guy to a licensed agent. No, no, no! I said just, just, just talk to me like a like guys would talk. Like, hey man, how's it going? If you're gonna get insurance, you need to get this amount. Really? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. Tell me, but you tell me uh, on this coverage plan, would you like to see the information? Five hundred twenty thousand. Well, I don't know. What do you, what do you, what do you recommend, Steve? I would recommend you one million. Oh well, if that's if that's an option, I'd like to hear about it. Yeah, okay, like one million. Yeah, my 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 nurse Mary would be thrilled if I left her a million dollars. Oh really? Well, oh, I think she would be. Dollars in your life, in your whole life. Yeah. Oh really? You beggar. What? Did you call me a beggar? <laughs> how how exactly does that? constitute being a beggar that was weird but that was good steve good guy you you guys can trust steve he's a good guy hey everybody and thanks a lot for checking out the video if you like the content click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification leave us a comment let us know what you think thumbs up thumbs down either way and we'll catch you all next time